The background was uh, that uh, in locally advanced uh, rectal cancer, despite uh, preoperative chemo radiation, uh, the rate of uh, metastasis was still uh, high, up to 25% in all trials. So uh, there was a medical need for a uh, new treatment. So that's the reason why we've done a trial on TNT. When we designed uh, the study in 2010, the standard of care was preoperative chemo radiation in locally advanced uh, rectal cancer. And this is the standard of care arm. And we realize a randomized study comparing this standard of care, which is pre-op chemo radiation, TMR surgery, and adjuvant chemotherapy for all patients, whatever is uh, uh, the YTNM stage to uh, the same procedure, the same sequence of treatment, but three months of uh, preoperative uh, chemotherapy using modified folkerinox than preop uh, chemo radiation TME and adjuvant chemotherapy, that time for three months and for all patients. So all patients receive the same duration of chemotherapy, adjuvant or neoadjuvant, and it's important point to interpret the results. With a uh, seven-year uh, follow-up, uh, we uh, realized that uh, amphalfirinox was a safe uh, regimen with a downstaging of a tumor and we already published uh, the first result in uh, Lancet Oncology and uh, uh, it does not affect uh, the following treatment, the compliance to chemo radiation and surgery was the same. Postoperative uh, mortality was uh, reduced, quality of life was similar in the two groups, but uh, was a bit reduced during uh, m folferinox induction chemotherapy, but all symptoms uh, uh, of rectal cancer, including uh, pain, tenesma, and uh, uh, diarrhea, rectorrhagia, uh, disappear very quickly within uh, five or six weeks. And then quality of life improved, and uh, uh, patients had a higher and faster good score of quality of life as compared to uh, the standard of care group. There was also a benefit uh, in sexual life, especially for men with a reduction of uh, importance. Looking at uh, sur surgical results, uh, zero surgery, uh, was uh, performing in 95% uh, of the case with uh, good, uh, excellent result looking at mesorectal, uh, mesorectum in both uh, arms. And then we had the 26% YPCR rate as compared to 12% in the standard of care arm. So uh, when we look at uh, the seven-year results, we have a durable improvement in DFS, a 40% reduction in metastatic uh, rate. And uh, when we look at the benefit in terms of month, uh, there's a seven-month month benefit without metastasis. It means that uh, each year patients in the TNT arm benefit of one month without metastasis. There was no increase in local recurrence with the experimental arm, which is important uh, because in TNT with uh, consolidation chemotherapy uh, in the RAPIDO trial, there's uh, uh, an important increase in local recurrence uh, in the experimental arm. This is not the case with induction uh, chemotherapy. And uh, when for the patients who had a metastatic uh, uh, relapse, the survival 
was the same in both arms um, because in s it was it's important point because in some neoadjuvant and adjuvant uh, studies, including mosaic uh, adjuvant treatment with Falfox, uh, uh, PETAC, uh, uh, important uh, study uh, looking at the role of oxaliplatin in rectal cancer, and also in rapido trial. Uh, patients who relapse in the experimental arm had a reduced survival. It's not the case in Prodigy 23, and patients with metastasis at the 44 median survival as compared to 39 in uh, the standard of care arm. For all these reasons, this translated in an important uh, survival benefit at five years and patient uh, at uh, an improved survival from 80% in uh, the standard of care arm um, to 87%. So this is important uh, for, for the patients and for all our group, four groups of re French research and uh, 35 patients, partic 35 centers participate uh, to uh, this trial, and I thank the patients, families, and investigators who participate within this trial. These are important uh, results, and now the choice for the patients is important with choice of which and what uh, and which strategy for very early uh, T2 or T3 and 0 rectal cancer patients. Local excision in patients with T2 and plus or T3 and plus less, with less than four invaded lymph nodes are MRI and no bad pronostic factors. Uh, these patients can have uh, with induction chemotherapy or with chemo radiation more local excision and organ preservation. And in patients with uh, uh, bad prognostic factors as a low rectal uh, uh, cancer, extra mural uh, invasion, uh, predicted the lateral margin less than one millimeter large tumor, more than four lymph nodes invaded. Uh, the TNT uh, strategy using uh, uh, modified for Virinox is the only one who had improved survival with also good quality of life results. Yes, I was to thank the promoter, which is uh, Unicancer, and uh, uh, the National Cancer Institute and the French League Against Cancer who uh, give grants to go on with this study and I want also to thank all the patients and families who participate to this trial.